welcome to Intermediate Level English Language Arts. Hi guys! Now we will be discussing the last topic for week 3. This topic is writing and advertisement. Okay? What are our objectives? We have two. To be able to identify the different factors in writing an advertisement. And then to be able to know how to write or create an effective advertisement. Okay. First things first, guys. What are advertisements? Advertisements, guys, basically they aim or they, these are used to aim to get the reader's attention by pointing out desirable qualities that will convince the reader to patronize the product. Okay. This is a way to convince the readers to patronize or buy or or get or take right the products that you are making an advertisement on there are a few things that you have to consider like target market the location of the advertisement and key selling features of the product when you say target market you're going to be thinking of the people who are going to be using this product or the people you're trying to sell the product to if you're selling it to to kids right how would you sell it to the kids the way you're going to be selling products to kids will be different the way you're going to be selling products to adults for example for kids how will you um, convince kids to get your product make it colorful make it bright make it explosive but if you do that to adults would they would they find it as effective not really okay how about the next one the location of the advertisement make sure that you consider where you're going to be selling it for example if you're going to be selling something in a place that's full of it, people might not buy it. Example, if you are going to sell oil in a desert place, like for example, the Middle East, right? People might not buy it as often because oil is very abundant in their place. But if you were to sell, for example, pure water, then now we're talking, right? Okay. And then the next one, key selling features of the product. You have to take note as well of the different features that would sell the product or that would be worth buying for your readers these are the different things that you will consider when you're making an advertisement so there are different parts of an advertisement so the advertisement should be convincing enough and to make it convincing enough right the paragraph should contain a topic sentence a body or body sentences and a closing sentence the topic sentence is the introduction of the paragraph right it's the introduction Sometimes you have questions here, or sometimes you give a quick background, right, about it. And then the body. The body is the details. It contains all of the details of the key selling points of the product. That's your body sentences. And then in your closing sentence, you're either, you could just restate what you've said or summarize the whole advertisement. Or you could even give us the explanation as to why the reader must avail the product. Why is it important? Why get it now? Right? Why buy it? Why patronize it? That's in your closing sentence. So here's an example. <clears throat> this is a <laughs> this is a something I created, right? Um, <clears throat> this is just merely for example purposes. So I have created a product. It's the eraser sharpener. It's the sh the eraser plus sharpener we all need. I even included an image there, right? So here's how I did it. Here's my advertisement. Okay. Um, have you ever had difficulty finding your eraser and pencil sharpener? Don't you ever wish they would they were just one? Don't you ever wish for something which is very important? Don't you think you who happens to have a very good and student who happens to be a very good and studious student deserve a better product that combines your eraser and pencil sharpener in one? Then fear not. We have the product that will solve all your eraser and sharpener problems. The all new Eraser sharpener. This amazing product helps all of you who wish that their erasers and sharpeners are in one place. Say goodbye to going back and forth to your pencil case, which is just right beside you, to get your sharpener and eraser. This product combines the two most important things for any student, much more important than pencils and papers. Mm. Buy this product to experience a relaxing and comfortable, easy life of a student. Not really. Have this amazing product for only. 195 pesos with our special offer only for this month you can get two for only 399 by now okay so uh 
here, you are able to see my topic sentence. The topic sentences I used, right, are questions in forms of questions, right? The body sentences are the main bulk, explanation why it's important, key features, what are the things that it would do for you, right? And then in the closing sentences, I gave you, I gave um, reasons why it's important. Why buy it, right? And I even included just the just a quick ending there about uh, the things that you are going to be, uh, the, the promo, the current promo, and the price as well. Okay, so for your pre-write, think of any product, any product, but it has to be a product that you can sell to your classmates in school. So you will, well, we are not in school right now, but you will consider yourselves in school. So think of a way or think of a product that you can sell to your classmates in school, right? Okay, this product must be something that your classmates can either eat, drink, wear, or use in school. So things that are not allowed in school, like for example, cell phones. Okay, we're not allowing cell phones in schools, right? Remember, you'll have to surrender them to your teachers. Or for example, wear. Like for example, don't go selling like short shorts or stuff like that, right? Or ripped jeans, right? Make sure that these are the things that they could either drink or wear or eat or use in school. List down the following details. Well, who are your target readers, right? Will you be selling them to your classmates? Or will you be selling them to your classmates in the other section? Right? Okay. What are the best features of it? Okay. What are the things that would make sure that uh, the, the features that, would, that people would find it amazing, different compared to the others? And then your convincing factor. Why? Why should they buy it? Why is it so important that people should actually buy it? Okay, just like my array sharpener, right? A very, very important reason to buy it is because, well, that way you will not ever have to get your pencil, your erasers, and your sharpeners, right? You just have it all in one. Very important. Very convincing. Now for your draft, right? One to two paragraphs about the product you chose. Consider carefully your topic sentence, your body sentences, and your closing sentence sen sentences. You can add promos or discounts or even the price of your product. But you have to take note of this very important thing when you're writing your draft. Use three different kinds of adjective clauses. So that means the, sub the conjunctions that you're going to be using would be different on each time. If you're going to go back to my example, I have just, I'd like to point out some of the things that I use there. For example, who happens to be a very good and studious student? Okay, that's one of them. Or which is very important, right? These are the different um, adjective clauses that I use. You guys do it too as well. Think of adjective clauses that you can incorporate in your advertisement. When you're done with that, go to your advice. Answer the questions. Did I have give enough reasons to convince my readers? Do all my subjects and verbs agree? Did I use three different adjectives, adjective clauses? Right. Make sure that they're all yes. And when you're done with that, go to your edit. Check for grammar, spelling, punctuation mark, and indention errors. Yes? And then in your publish. Write the advertisement about any given product for your fellow schoolmates in your notebook, pad paper, or in a document creating software. Oh, by the way, not just uh, classmates, by the way. It could be schoolmates too. So even just your, your schoolmates. So it could be people from the lower grades or in the higher grades. It's fine. Okay? So you could write it in your notebooks or pad paper or even in a document creating software like Microsoft Word. Okay? Give one to two paragraphs with a topic sentence, a body sentence, and a closing sentence. Use three different kinds of adjective clauses. Write advertisement as the activity title. The title of your work must be the name of your product. Bonus points for a neat image of your product. That is why I gave you the chance to do it in a document creating software. Why? So that you can include the image that you'd like to put, if you so desire. But if you'd like to draw it, then it's fine. You could also put it in the pad paper or in your notebooks. Okay, you could even color it if you like. Make sure though that the image is neat for you to get bonus points for that. All right? Okay, and that pretty much ends our topic on writing an advertisement. <laughs>